Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel, I'm your host Rama, and in today's video I'll be dubbing what I believe to be the best vehicle available in Grand Theft Auto Online. It can fly, it can drive, it's got missiles and it can easily beat a vehicle like the F-160 Raiju without even breaking a sweat. Stay tuned and let's get straight into it. And here it is, the Imponte Deluxo. Now, at first glance, you might think that this is just a repeat video, saying the same old crap you've seen on every other YouTube video, like Mr. Boss for the win, or literally any other channel saying why the Deluxo is good, or blah, blah, blah. But not only am I going to be stating all the same crap you've heard about the Deluxo in the past, but I'm also going to be showcasing something new, which is the Deluxo absolutely crapping on the F-160 Raiju in a dogfight. And yes, you heard that correctly, and I'm not joking. The Deluxo so absolutely craps on the Raiju. Not only does it crap on the Raiju, but literally every single jet and flying vehicle in the game will pale in comparison to the Deluxo, and that is due to the fact of its hovering and missile capabilities. Let's start off with the basics though. The Deluxo comes in at a price tag of $4.3 million. That's pretty expensive. Rockstar changed the price tag in the latest update era. It's, uh, it's not a cheap vehicle anymore, but to be fair, it's not like the Oppressor Mark II coming in at an absolutely ridiculous price tag of $8 million. So at least you got that going for you in the Deluxo. Now, the Deluxo features an instantaneous flying and instantly getting out of the flying capability. Unlike, for example, the Oppressor Mark II, where you can't really go down instantly, you have to hold down and it'll go like this. With the Deluxo, if you've decided, well, I'm a little high in the air, I want to go down, you just press the A button on your Xbox remote, and boom, now you jump right down to the ground, which is actually really nice. It means that if you ever do need to dodge missiles or, you know, a jet is shooting its explosive cannon at you, you can just instantly drop and really no problems whatsoever. The Deluxo, because it's not a flying vehicle, or a conventional flying vehicle, if you were to crash, let's say full speed into anything, you're not gonna blow up. Where if I were to do that in a plane, I can guarantee that I would be 12 feet into the grave. So that's another nice thing about the Deluxo. It's a flying vehicle, but it's not a conventional flying vehicle where you blow up. But it does have one big downside, and that is the fact that it can only survive zero explosions. Essentially, if you get hit by any missiles or even the railgun, it will blow you up quite easily, but when dealing with flying vehicles, that is no problem whatsoever. The main reason the Deluxo does so well against flying vehicles is because it can hover in one spot and turn instantly. I mean, look at how quick the Deluxo can turn. So for example, if you're in an F-160 Raiju and you're in front of me, all I need to do is keep turning like this and I will always have a homing lock on you. And because of that, and you don't have flares in the F-160 Raiju, you're just gonna keep going in circles and circles. The problem is you're not fast enough to outmaneuver the missiles. They will catch you and they will end your life. And I tested this with a friend. So let's break into that footage. Starting off, I wanted to see if the Deluxo missiles were faster than the F-160 Raiju, because obviously the Raiju is a super, super fast jet that can almost fly faster than a lot of missiles can even travel once it's going at top speed. However, we weren't going at top speed with the Raiju because it wouldn't make sense in a dogfight that the F-160 would be so high up in the air if the Deluxo is only, you know, maybe a couple hundred feet above the ground. So starting off, we just did a quick strafe and we wanted to see if the missiles could catch it. And the missiles did slowly gain on the Raiju when it was at lower altitude, but they were not able to actually catch it as long as it was flying in a straight line. However, then we decided to see what happens if the Raiju tries to attack me. So he's going to fly in a straight line towards me. As you can see, it doesn't really slow down or anything, but because the missiles were close enough when I fired, they instantly caught up, did a loop, and demolished him. So as you can see, in a Raiju, just to begin with, if you think that you're fast enough to pull up on a Deluxo's Mark II missiles and do a quick spree of bullets and then run past it, the answer is no. You cannot do that. The Deluxo will catch you and it will kill you. So here we are on attempt two. Once again, I've got my Deluxo out and my friend has the Raiju out. This time he's gonna start shooting missiles at me. So he's gonna come down, he's gonna shoot a missile at me. I just easily move and I dodge the missile and watch my missiles instantly, once again, turn around before he can even maneuver the jet and just obliterate him. It's so crazy how fast the Deluxo missiles are, but the Raiju just does not have the maneuverability to get away from them. So at this point, 
point, we've already decided that the Raiju is just not maneuverable enough to get around the missiles, but we wanted to try different planes. So once again, you can see I was able to dodge the rogue's missile, and even shooting flares, the rogue is turning as fast as it can, and it just doesn't matter. The missiles instantly catch it, and once again, obliterate it. Even though the rogue can survive upwards of two to three homing missiles, when you have ten of them flying at you at Mach 9, it apparently doesn't matter all too much. So now we moved on to the laser, and to my surprise, the laser actually was able to dodge the Deluxo missiles. The problem for the laser is that it still can't catch the Deluxo. You'll notice that he's just turning and turning and turning, and he's having to dodge the missiles, and he can't get to me because of the fact that I'm just chilling here. So you'll notice what I start doing is I pull out my machine gun and start shooting at the laser with the machine gun, because I've realized that, well, I can't hit it with the missile, so let me just shoot it with the machine gun if it's circling me, and uh-oh, we've already got the laser smoking. Now, for any of you that are unaware, after 2 minutes and 20 seconds, no matter what, when a plane starts smoking, it will instantly die, and go to the ground. So what I was able to do here is essentially just shoot out the engine, so now all I have to do is survive for 2 minutes and 20 seconds, and the laser's done. So once again, we can see that the Deluxo, even against a plane that is able to outmaneuver the missiles, is still victorious. Now, that's not to say the Deluxo is impervious, because it's not. The easiest way to take out a Deluxo with the addition of the gun van is with the railgun. One single shot to any non-armored vehicle will instantly get obliterated with the railgun, and the Deluxo is no exception. It does not survive any explosions. What that means is that if you're on ground, all you need to do is pull out the railgun, and as easy as one, two, three, the Deluxo is dead. And it's almost impossible to dodge a railgun, Bullet. Previously, on ground targets, they would shoot missiles or homing missiles at you, and they're pretty easy to dodge with the Deluxo because of the way it flies. Unfortunately, now with the railgun, that's really just not the case. So, if you're trying to deal with people on ground, the Deluxo is actually not great unless they don't understand what the railgun is. But, dealing with anything in the skies, the Deluxo reigns victorious. For the price tag of $4.3 million, it is definitely worth the price. There's a couple things about the Deluxo that makes it super solid. First of all, it's fast. Drives at a top speed of 127 miles per hour, which is very, very quick, especially for the Sports Classics class. It's got great grip, great handling, overall a pretty fun vehicle to drive. You can instantly enter and exit hover mode, which makes it super nice whenever you want to just drive on the ground or you want to stay in the air. It's really, really easy to drop your altitude or climb. It can hover in one spot, and if you use the Deluxo it correct, you can actually hover it over the water. So whenever you're doing missions or anything like that, you can leave the Deluxo above the water, and in fact I can show that. As you can see, I'm currently above the water. Now, to do this trick, you cannot be sitting still. If you're sitting still above the water in the Deluxo, it's gonna pretend like you're on ground, you get out, and it falls in the water. If you do this correctly, you just want to leave your Deluxo ever so slightly moving. That way, it will be kind of hovering over the water and moving, just like when you jump out of it in the sky. At this point, your Deluxo is going to probably go about maybe 150, 200 feet in front of you, but it is going to be above the water. Once you are under the Deluxo, all you need to do is press Y, and it's instantly going to teleport you inside of it. It is just that easy. Because of that, it makes the Deluxo fantastic for water. It's way faster than the Toreador, it's way faster than the Strong, it can fly as well, which makes it super easy for any yacht missions or anything that you need to board. And the best part is that getting the Deluxo back once you run out of missiles is also very easy to do. So let's pretend that my personal Deluxo is completely dry of missiles, right? I've been shooting at a jet, I've destroyed it, and I'm out of missiles. Now I want to get my Deluxo back. Well, that's easy. I go to vehicles, I return my personal vehicle back to storage, then I'm going to request my personal vehicle. That took, what, a whole total of five seconds to do? Now we're just going to wait, and there you go. My Deluxo's back. It's literally just just as effective as using a motorcycle club at this point, especially because Rockstar has increased the, or should I say decreased, the amount of time it takes to spawn a new vehicle in. So overall, the Deluxo is an absolute dub. There's really no reason you shouldn't get a Deluxo in 2023. It's incredibly underrated. It is 100% better than the Oppressor Mark II. Yes, the Oppressor is faster, but it is not a better vehicle when it comes to missiles, when it comes to survivability. It's very easy to dodge missiles with the Deluxo. Even Mark II missiles is as long as you're going towards them, very easy to dodge. Overall, it's just a fantastic vehicle. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and uh, let me know if you agree, but I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.